Okay, so this is a linear inequality in two variables word problem. Um, so we're given that a surf shop has a weekly overhead, which the over the weekly overhead is the amount of money they have to make they have to make to cover all of their expenses. So like payroll, utilities, rent, um, anything that's going to cost them money, uh, they need to make at least one thousand four hundred and forty dollars. Um, and the way that they make their money at paying 10 surf shop, get it? Square root of 100 is 10. So the way that they make their money at Hang 10 surf shop is by selling skim boards for $120 a piece um, and long boards for $720 a piece. Now, if you look at all of the graphs, um, we're going to be matching the graph that represents the situation. So if you look at all the graphs, you can see that the horizontal axis, which is the x-axis, is corresponds to number of skim boards sold. And then the vertical axis, the y-axis, corresponds to number of long boards sold. So I'm going to let x be number of skim boards. sold and y equals to the number of longboards sold. I can spell. Okay, um, so now I'm going to set up my linear inequality and I'm given that the surf shop needs to make at least $1,440. Now let's think about an expression that we could write that could represent how much money they're going to make, like how much money they're going to bring in. And we know that they, they bring in their money from selling skim boards and selling long boards. So the amount that they can make from selling skim boards or X amount of skim boards would be 120X. And the amount of money that they could make from selling Y number of long boards um, would be 720y. And they need to make at least $1,440 in order to break it even or to make a profit. So I'm going to use 1,440 must be less than or equal to 120x plus 720y. So now to be able to figure out which graph matches this inequality, we remember first want to get y by itself on one side of the inequality. So I'm going to subtract 120x from each side of the inequality. So I'll have minus 120x plus 1440 is less than or equal to 720y. And then to finish isolating y on one side of the inequality, I'll divide by 720. on each side. So 120 goes into 72, 12 goes into 72 six times, so that'll simplify to minus 1 six x plus 2 is less than or equal to y. So now I can see that my boundary line for the graph will be y is equal to negative 1 6 x plus 2. So our boundary line will have a y-intercept of 0, 2 and a slope of negative 1, 6. Okay. All of these graphs have negative slopes. However, a graph of negative 1, 6 uh, a graph of the slope of negative 1, 6 for the boundary line looks like it's either going to be A or B, C. So we can we know that um, by process of, process of elimination that the graphs representing the situation are not going to be B or D because they're, those graphs, they look like they have a slope of actually negative 6, right? So if we start here, um, at 0, 12 here, which is the incorrect y-intercept. To get to the next point, we would have to go down 6 and then write 1, which would be a slope of negative 6. 
Okay, so of A and C, both have the same boundary line, and it's a solid boundary line since it's y is greater than or equal to, right? We would want to rewrite this as y is greater than or equal to negative 1 6 x plus 2. So both have a solid boundary line, um, and now since it's y is greater than or equal to negative 1 6 x plus 2, that tells us that we need to shade above. So the correct graph for this situation is going to be C. And looking at this, we could see that um, C, graph C, has a y-intercept of 2, right, which goes along with our boundary line, and then a slope of negative 1 6. And this means that any of these points, so for example, the point 2, 4, means that if we sold two skim boards, so that would be $120 times two plus four long boards, which, oops, which are $720 a piece, right? That would end up being equal to $3,120, which is well over their overhead, right? They make $3,120, they would be able to pay their overhead of $1,440 and then also make a profit. So any point that lies in this shaded region um, is going to allow the surf shop to make a profit. Now any of the points that lie on the boundary line in this case, so let's look at how about at um, the point six comma one. So that's saying if we if the surf shop sold um, six skim boards for $120 a piece and then plus one long board. Okay, that would be equal to 1,440, that's what I was thinking. So we would just break, e or the surf shop would just break even um, at any of the amounts that they sold. Well, they can't sell a fraction of, um, of a long board, so that wouldn't necessarily be a point. Um, but basically any of these points would be um, different amounts that, that the surf shop could break even at least.